Hello everyone, so I wanted to go and do this video because some of you have probably been seeing videos and other things referring to something known as SAT Express, and you're probably having questions pop in your head such as, what is it, what does it do, how does it work, why should I even care, why is it even here? So I'm going to really try to explain things in the best way possible so then you guys can have a really good understanding as to what it is. Now when it comes to SATA Express, as you can tell by the name, it is a SATA connection type, just like SATA 3. Now SATA 3 has been around for quite a while now, and it's worked for the most part. It's worked with most devices perfectly fine, but within the last couple of years alone, um, SSDs in particular have been getting much, much faster. They've made much improvements, they've been becoming more affordable, and so many different manufacturers are using different techniques and doing different things and using different methods to just really get the most performance possible out of SSDs. And it's getting to the point to where all of them are getting nearly identical performance. Most of them are between 500 and 550 megabits or megabytes per second. And because of that, you know, in real world performance when just using them, it's really hard to actually notice the difference. The only way you could really tell is through really extensive use or very large files that you're transferring or through just benchmarking tools. Other than that, they're all just about the same. So, because of, you know, SATA 3, SATA 3 in general has be started becoming the limiting factor in SSDs, and that's why you see so many of them performing very similarly. So, just like everything else, we needed something new. And now, that's why we got SATA Express. Now, SATA Express offers up to 10 gigabits or gigabytes per second, while SATA 3 offered 6. So, it's not quite double, but it's still a big improvement overall. So soon, with the new SSDs that are going to be using that connection type, we will be getting more performance out of the same hardware. And because of that, we're going to be seeing much more dramatic and noticeable differences between different SSDs from different manufacturers. And that's great overall. And because of that, it'll be much easier to make a buying decision. And, you know, it'll just be a much greater thing overall. And it'll give us better performance, you know. So it's really great for the consumer in the end. And, you know, it's really also great to see this because when it comes to, you know, just internal connections, it's been becoming harder to justify using, you know, internal connections like SATA 3 because USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt are both getting so fast, especially with the newer version of Thunderbolt, USB 3.1 around the corner. They're getting so fast that they're actually catching up or surpassing the types of performance you could get from something internally. So for some people, it's becoming really hard to justify using an internal hard drive over an external hard drive. So with something like SATA Express is a really great step forward. Hopefully we'll see a new different PCIe or PCI Express slot with better performance. So then it'll be better for graphics cards or just by any other device. But graphics cards in, you know, in general aren't really becoming external yet. Hopefully they will because we do got the technology and performance needed in order to run devices like that externally. So this is the first step forward. It'll help us get better performance and we'll be able to see much more dramatic difference between different SSDs. And it's really, really great because this is something that was necessary, really necessary for a lot of reasons. And now the SSD manufacturers can improve more, get more out of their hardware, and it'll give them better reasons to look for many other various ways they can improve the performance of the hardware. So I'm really, really happy with this. I hope this at least gives you some sort of an understanding as to what it is, what kind of performance it gives, and why is it here? Because, you know, it was something that was necessary for maybe one main reason, but also for another couple of reasons in the process, and you had almost no reason to hold back. And we should be seeing it soon on some newer SSDs. And also, when it comes to, you know, SATA Express, the only motherboards we're seeing on it is Z97, Intel based motherboards so far and hopefully we'll see some on some AMD based motherboards very very soon I really hope so because if not it's gonna feel like you know another thing that they're gonna end up putting on hold for the new you know socket type and on the new AMD based motherboards whenever that you know new lineup of CPUs or APUs ends up actually coming out because you know there's a couple of things I guess you could say that are kind of missing from the AMD side of motherboards including Thunderbolt which does not work with any of them except maybe one but you don't really Really have any options it's kind of an mm, yeah, interesting product let's just say so 
If not, then at least this will just give me another reason to look forward to the new, you know, AMD-based motherboards with the new socket and stuff, with DDR4 support and Thunderbolt, and be able to have eight RAM slots and just crazy configurations and stuff, and ooh, we got SAT Express now. So, you know, I'm really happy to see just technology taking a step forward. Even if this is such a small niche kind of area, it's still very important because internal hardware needs to make sure to always be above external hardware it's always been that way but you know if internal really can't improve that much and since external like usb3 or usb3.0 or 0.1 and thunderbolt are improving so much more dramatically and quicker that it's becoming harder to justify and if they have to if it ends up catching up to sat express then they're just gonna have to make a newer version of it and maybe you know end up doing it on a pretty dramatic and you know regular basis so other than that, I hope this gives you guys an understanding. So thank you again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.